Hello, hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to another episode of Unapologetically Abundant Podcast. And how beautifully rich and abundant this podcast episode is going to be because we have the beautiful embodiment of what it looks like when you truly walk in your purpose. Our beautiful guest, Katho, she is living her dream life. And now she's teaching others through astrology and through strategy how to live yours too. So Katho, I'm so excited that we are making this is happening here today <laughs> thank you so so much that was such a beautiful wholesome introduction and I feel so honored to be here thank you so before we dive into sharing you know um, with our tribe with our audience with our listeners I love starting the podcast with a short guided meditation would you be open to receive it mm, absolutely give it to me baby <laughs> Beautiful. So just really find a comfortable space on wherever you're sitting, leaning back, closing gently your eyes and starting to breathe slowly in and out. You don't have to alter your breath. You're just becoming present to your breath, to your body, to how you are feeling at this moment becoming fully present. And as you become present to this beautiful moment, this beautiful gift that we have right here and right now, everything starts slowing down. Your body starts softening, slowly melting into this moment. And everything is making you even more relaxed. Each breath in and out, deeper and deeper relaxed. And as you're relaxing and allowing yourself to completely melt into everythingness and nothingness, I would love for you to visualize that you are waking up in a beautiful morning you're opening the door to let the fresh air in. Hearing the birds, feeling one with the nature. And you're starting your day with so much gratitude, so much overflowing love and aliveness. And as you're starting your day, you're starting with a brand new client. You're doing an initial call and your client is so excited to start working with you. What is the one thing, what is the one vision that you have for this new client? What will their journey look like? What they are walking away when the container has been fulfilled? What would it be? What do you see for them? You can share with us if it's not a secret. <laughs> what would you see for your brand new client being so excited to journeying with you? What do you see them in the end of the journey as? Hmm. Wow, that's such a potent question. Thank you so much for this. This was beautiful. I feel so calm and relaxed right now. <laughs> so... I believe in the new paradigm of doing business, which is all about finding the balance or at least the integration between the masculine and the feminine energetics in your business, right? So having the structure, having the systems, the organization in place, which is a masculine pillar, but then also the feminine, which is like the mindset, the psychology, the energetics behind you know, what it is like to have your business. And for me, what success looks like is creating spaciousness in my life, mm -hmm. but then also in my business. Mm -hmm. So I feel like spaciousness is a big keyword for me. And this is also something that I teach my clients. So I am a business mentor and I use astrology to help my clients align with their unique blueprints and find a strategy that is 
aligned with all of that mm-hmm. right so and this way we get to actually consciously co-create with the universe knowing when it's a great time to show up do the work put ourselves out there you know launch our new products and our newest offerings and when it is a time to rest and integrate and to go on retreats or to retreat ourselves or you know, to be a hermit and really honoring the cycle and the season that you are in right now is going to be so key to unlock success, you know, that is of, of your highest timeline of success. Does that make sense? Absolutely. That's so beautiful. And I love that you are not only teaching, but of course, like embodying it, embodying what does it look like when we do retreat when we invest time in ourselves and our grow and when we're out there it's so beautiful and I'm super curious because I know you are um, passionate uh, about astrology and I'm wondering how did astrology enter in your life like sometimes I feel Mm. like it's like you know these beautiful synchronicities that we are like guided onto the path and sometimes it's something that we're just curious about we want to explore so how did you find astrology or how did astrology find you (laughs) I love that so I grew up in astrology I have an amazing mama bear who's still my best friend till this day. And I grew up, you know, having conversations around astrology, around the cosmos. And I remember when I was 13 years old, my mom was reading the natal charts of my friends and I was just so amazed. And I was also thinking like, wow, I'm discovering so many things about myself that I didn't even know existed inside me or I wasn't even aware of that, which makes complete sense at age 13, right? So then I started studying it at um at like evening school when I was 17. Uh, I did that for a few years, but then I quit because it was too difficult to combine with modeling because I was modeling at the time and then also studying at university and I was traveling the world, Mm -hmm. you know, because I have a lot of Sagittarius energy as well. And so for me, it's actually kind of like a second language. It's just, it speaks to me on such a deep soul level. I just look at it and the chart comes alive to me. When I just look at a chart, it's like it's kind of like okay I understand I can read it but when I'm in the presence of someone else of my client let's say the the chart really comes alive and I just love it because it is such a beautiful tool for self-empowerment but also to understand yourself on such a deep level so awareness is always the first step with shadow work with you know wherever you are on your journey because from that awareness from that place we can actually start taking aligned action and start making choices that are in alignment with our highest expression you know with our highest uh, selves as well so I feel like astrology has helped me so much with understanding who I am what my purpose is and I'm now 25 and I'm literally living my dharma I'm living my dream life in Cape Town South Africa Um, I'm serving my clients in a very aligned way and I just feel like as soon as we tap into our most authentic selves which astrology is that permission slip right it's that tool for self-empowerment it shows you who you are who you're meant to step into as soon as we start embodying that that's when abundance will start to flow that's when everything is just in flow have you experienced that in your life as well oh yeah absolutely and I love that you're mentioning that because I feel like that's what changed in my life and my business when I became unapologetically me then the abundance came hence that's why I'm calling my podcast unapologetically abundant because first you Mm -hmm. get to like really become unapologetic about who you came here to be there is no one like you so I'm I'm curious now and because I'm biased you know a little bit um I love human design and I know that astrology it's a part of a human design so I'm curious Mm -hmm. what do you feel like you know human design it's like big big like buzzword Mm -hmm. you know so many people are using it and I know astrology it's a part of human design so what is your take Mm -hmm. on like the difference between human design and astrology for you yeah great question so to me they are all amazing tools they're all interwoven they're all interconnected they all make sense right and they're all like adding these extra layers to the interpretation Mm -hmm. so for me I found a lot of depths in the interpretations of astrology and right now I'm at a place where I'm discovering and learning more about uh, human design which I love I use it for business as well it's so interesting and fascinating to understand of like okay what is your profile what is your design how are you meant to show up right 
right? But again, they're just so beautiful in a way that they complement one another. So right now uh, for business and with my client sessions, I'm mainly using astrology. Like I said, it's the love of my life. I'm obsessed, but I also love to use numerology. So those two are like my main things. Um, but yeah, it's it all comes down to like, just try to understand yourself through all of these different lenses. There's not one truth out there. I'm not vouching for like astrology is a one and only truth out there. No, it's a, it's what works for me. I understand it, you know, and that is also my gift. I'm like, I'm that bridge between the tangible and the intangible realm. So the spiritual and then the material realm. And I love to bring things into like a very practical, tangible, down to earth humble way so people can actually understand what the fuck is going on or what it is about and then they can start implementing it right because there's one thing of like understanding things and like you know from a cognitive side of your brain but then the next part is like okay well well how will you actually show up and implement all of this knowledge and actually mm -hmm. you know start living your fucking best life mm, I love that so much because that's the thing like sometimes I hear from people like yeah I know I read the book or I took the course I'm like I don't care what you tell me you know I care about what you do about it so it's about the mm. integration it's about the embodiment giving yourself space you know to mm -hmm. be able to embody it and and be present to that and I'm really curious why and and when did you turn into that also like a business and strategy coaching you know because astrology itself it's so rich and so full and even if mm. we focus just on the personal life and you know like remembering who you came here to be that's so much right so yeah. who are you serving and why are why did you add the business into that yeah great question so i've been having my business for almost three years now it will be two years uh this year in a few months and but it's only full time for about a year like probably like over a year because before that i was still studying at my master's degree at university in belgium right so i first started out as an astrologer but then i noticed that i like i was there was something missing in my practice or like in my coaching calls or client calls i would say and that's when i discovered coaching and i i love like just merging these two together and in my natal chart I am or I have um, a Capricorn moon and it's in my 10th house right on my MC so MC is Midhaven so these are like three indicators that business image reputation putting myself out there I'm also a Leo sun right so this is my zone of genius and I've built my own business. I turned it into something really beautiful and potent and especially like the, the last eight months, I would say like, I really like quantum leaped in a lot of ways. And I started getting requests from other women saying like, Oh, you're so inspiring. Like, I would love to learn how you built your business. Can I like, you know, work with you? Like, tell me what you have available or any offering. And I was like, well, I have nothing available. <laughs> So that's when I decided, like, maybe I should start making something, you know, because and it just comes all from my own embodied experience of like the fuck ups, the mistakes that I've made, the lessons that I've learned and the things that inspire me. And I just naturally love business. Like it's a Capricorn energy. You are also a Capricorn uh, ascendant and you have a lot of, I think, let me actually grab your charts. You have a lot of Scorpio placements. You know, it, it's it's so beautiful. I also see it in, in your chart that you are the bridge between like the tangible and the intangible world. You're here to basically, you know, your Jupiter is in Capricorn right on your ascendant. So this is your zone of genius. It is also in business. It's also in like, you know, being the CEO, like creating your masterpiece, building your legacy, right? So I think like for me personally, because I got these requests from other women, I, I saw that as a sign from the universe saying like, okay, you need to step up. It's time now. It, like, you're not going to hide anymore. I know that you want this. I know that you've been thinking about it for a long time, but you've been waiting for that permission slip, let's say. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, okay, let's fucking do this. I'm going to create an offering and I'm just going to step in the arena, even though it's scary at times, especially in the beginning, because I was pivoting into a new niche, right? Um, but then I was just trusting and leaning into my desire and knowing that I will find a way to figure it out. Like I'm very resourceful. <laughs> yes, you are. You proved it this morning. <laughs> yes, you are. And I absolutely love it. I love that you are listening, you know, because 
sometimes we are like ignoring these like little nudges from the universe, the people, right? Like, oh, I'm excited to do this, but who would like even care? And you really mm-hmm. listening and responding to the world of what they are requesting from you. May I ask you uh, what design you are in human design? Like what is your... Right. I'm a manifesting generator. So I love variety, right? I need diversity. I need to like switch things up and like, I love following that inspired action and that inspiration that I've got, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I'm a four, six. So I'm the role model. And then also like community plays such a big role in my life. Oh, I love that. My husband, it's Manny Jenny. So I'm married to one of you. I know what does it feel like when you're all over the place everywhere. I love it. Um, that's yeah. really, really beautiful. And I feel like it it all comes down into following the curiosity and following the signs and and really what what lights you up, right? Because so very yeah. often we are doing the things that we feel like we should, and we're not listening to these little nudges and the things that we're really curious in our life. So mm-hmm. For those business owners and leaders and visionaries who are listening to us right now, and maybe they are in a place of their life or business that they're feeling like they're pivoting, what would you say, like, if, like, they want to, like, lean into astrology, they're like, okay, I'm curious, like, this is really resonating with me. What are some things they can look at? Because I always say, please hire a professional because it takes so Mm -hmm. much time to even trying to understand anything. So first, like here, connect with beautiful Kato to see if she's taking any new clients on. But if they're like, wow, like I want to look into that today. How can we look in our, you know, chart? How do we know what is our purpose on our like chart? Because you say like, for example, for you, it's the, you know, bringing the intangible into tangible and you're into business and you're held to be supporting others. So what would we be looking for? And and like, speak mm-hmm. to us like we are five year old, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So um, just... For the record, I am actually launching my astrology course for anyone who wants to learn about astrology. I got you. I'm your girl. I'll walk you through all of it. I'll even like teach you how to monetize your skills. If so, if you're listening, you're a coach, you're a healer, and you would like to have this tool in your toolbox and like, you know, that will really support you in your coaching practice. I highly recommend it. Um, That at least gave me so much confidence in my uh, coaching practice. So that's why I love to pass on the knowledge. Um, okay, so beautiful question. So I look at the chart as a whole. So obviously, you have all of these different pieces to the puzzle. But it's really important to look at the chart as a whole and take everything into account. And this is why astrology is an art. It's not a science, right? So this is an art of interpretation of like, okay, what do I see in the chart? What speaks to me? I, I'll also use my intuition for this. And there's different aspects in your chart that will add like different layers to the interpretation. So let's say you are a Capricorn rising, right? And you have Jupiter on your rising. So that's like already one indication that like you were born, you came back into this lifetime to do something with business and building your legacy, like I mentioned before. But then I will also look at the sun because the sun is your soul's purpose. It's like your hero's journey. It's who you are meant to become. This is how you shine or share your light with the world, right? And for you, it's Taurus. So you are here to enjoy the material realm and be sensual. And it's in the fifth house. So there's a lot about creativity for you and self-expression and when I, when I'm looking at your Instagram for example it's all about creativity right you are so self-expressive it's so beautiful to follow um and so that Taurus elements you are here really to build foundations and structures and work with your senses right that's the sensuality that comes into it as well um but then I will what is really important for like what type of career is well suited for you I will look at the midhaven right? So Midhaven is the highest point in the cosmos when you were born, depending on in what house it stands and in what archetype, this tells you or gives you more information around like what archetype you are supposed to be embodying when it comes to putting yourself out there in your career. So I always say to people, like, if you're not 
entirely sure of how to put yourself out there on your Instagram or on your LinkedIn, look at your ascendant and your MC, because these are the things that are outwardly focused. This is how you put yourself out there, right? Ascendant is more like how your physicality, like how you dress, how you speak, how you put yourself out there. But then the MC is really about, okay, but what type of business or, you know, what type of career is well suited for me? So this is more like your vocation, like the long run, right? So looking at this for you, for you, Scorpio and Capricorn right so you are quite like reliable serious hardworking. right people can rely on you and then the Scorpio is like you love depths you love to go deep you don't like to <laughs> have like any you superficial my husband. <laughs> it's like yeah the, the deeper the better like you want to penetrate someone's psyche to really go to the bottom of things and do something with psychology like tantra shadow work trauma work and all of these things and your MC is actually in the 11th house so working together with friends it, like having a community building your community on Instagram as well having your podcast working together with friends for example these are all great things for you um yeah how does that sound when I say this no it, it very deeply resonates because I remember when I started dating my husband we didn't say dating we said deeping we're deeping together. So we are yeah. both about the depth. So it, it very deeply, deeply resonates. And it's it's very, it's very fascinating. Mm -hmm. I love this. And I truly believe that it's not about, you know, some people they feel they're lost, right? Because they mm -hmm. get conditioned and they get just mm -hmm. draw into this like huge river of life. And we like feel like we are drowning. And I feel like it's about remembering. Remember mm. who you came here to be. There is a reason why yeah. you were born exactly in that place, exactly to that person, exactly at mm. that time. And so mm. looking into that, whether you're following, you know, astrology, numerology, human design, these beautiful ancient like techniques you know modalities they help us to remember who we really came here to be and I feel like it's yeah. so inspiring and you know that's why I love following you too Katha because you're so you're so yourself there's like no one like you you know your energy your essence and and people are so drawn to you and it gives them hope of who they mm. can be and who they can become. So this is really, mm. really powerful. And I feel like this episode, it's really for each and every one of us to remind ourselves who we came here to be like, go back to the basics, go back to knowing yourself, go back to understanding mm. yourself. And instead of trying to do everything like everyone else is doing, like see your own gifts and your own power mm. and surround yourself by people like Castle that can mm. really like remind you you know, mm -hmm. remind you who you came here to be. So this is so, so, so beautiful for a person who is um, listening right now. And they're feeling like, uh, you know, like, I don't know if I can like take any more information in, you know, because sometimes we are like, so like taking it all in, taking it all in. So what would you want them to know about astrology? Why astrology is different and why is it going to make their life richer and better versus one more thing to add into their life? Mm. I think astrology is just, again, such a great tool for understanding yourself. It just unlocks so much potential, so many opportunities for you. And it just all starts with awareness because awareness is 80% of the work, right? So if you're completely new to astrology, just start learning about your sun sign, right? Mm -hmm. Start embodying. I love that. I love that. I feel like like you're absolutely right. It's really about the self-awareness and knowing ourselves. And if we want to start somewhere, well, let's start with embodying and understanding our sun sign. So Katha, like all of the information, even like the little bits that you gave me about me, I'm like so blown away. It's so fascinating. It's so deeply resonate true in, in my body. And it's so true about how I see myself, you know, so that is so, so, so beautiful. Uh, for those who want to like connect with you, your essence, your energy, want to learn about, you know, your astrology course and everything else you will be launching and your podcast, what's the best way, like, where is the best place to connect with you? Yeah, amazing. Thank you so much, my love. So I would love to connect with you guys on Instagram. That's jam on the gram at Kat Caitlin. 
Um, so uh, my website is also catcaitlin.com, um, but I'm sure you'll just link it in the show notes. And yeah, I have my Road to Venus retreats coming up this year. We're busy planning our retreats, uh, which revolve around astrology, conscious relating, and Tantra. I'm doing this together with my business partner, who's an expert in Tantra and all of that. And we're just merging our powers together, right? So we have some really beautiful retreats coming up in Greece and Mexico and Amsterdam this year. So have a look uh, at our page. We would love to have you there. It's both for men and women. And then I also have my astrology course for absolute beginners, like I mentioned earlier in the podcast as well. I'm just so excited about teaching astrology. It's just, yeah, it's what makes me thrive and makes me feel so excited. So that will be starting this month in January as well. And then I'm currently taking or um, creating space for calling in two or three new people, new coaches who would like to be in my energy, who would like to play together and just basically me helping you growing your social media presence, but also growing and scaling your business, which is again, aligned on your astrological blueprint. Mm -hmm. So if this is you, if you feel call to explore this and yeah become my new best friend basically because we're going to be spending a lot of time together <laughs> <laughs> then you can definitely reach out on yeah on instagram Mm, beautiful thank you so much not only for today and coming here and creating the space to be here today on a podcast but also for living your dharma for embodying your purpose and showing other people what it can look like and feel like when we build the dream life from a place of alignment so thank you thank you thank you mm, thank you so much my love